Friends, it's your girl Nigel Chloe, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a mid year mindset video. And I know we have fun on here, we talk about beauty, skincare, but I also want to talk about the things that affect us and that can affect us mentally the mental aspect of our lives. And especially since we are in August, I call August the mid year mindset because it's the mid of the year. You know, we are about, we literally have just August, September, October, November, December five months left in the year of 2023. Can you believe that? Five months left in 2023. Like let that resonate that you have made it this far by the grace and loving power of God. And I wanted to come on here just to kind of talk about how we can change our mindset mid year to make sure that the rest of these remaining months of this year we are feeling great about ourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually where we're at and make those changes. Because if the beginning of the year started in a rough spot for you, I claim for you that the rest of this year is going to be even better and brighter. So just to kind of just get out, I know you guys are like, Nigel Chloe, what do you got on? Where are you going? What are you doing? Honestly, you guys, I myself have been feeling in the funk lately. And I find that whenever I dress up, listen to praise music, beautify myself, and just wear something bright and fun without having to go anywhere or do anything, I feel great. And so I was like, you know what? This is the perfect day for me to put this vlog together because this is what I, some things that I do to kind of get myself better. So I'm here in the kitchen, um, cause I feel like the kitchen like has like really good lighting and I feel like this is the perfect space on this beautiful day to kind of give you guys this message with my Nigel Chloe mug. I'm just drinking some tea. But anyways, let's get started with our mid year mindset expectations rules that you can do to help you enjoy the rest of your 2023. If you're new to this channel, please make sure that you have liked right now, you have subscribed right now. And if you're not new to this channel, welcome back. I love and appreciate your support, especially that we are now at 1K subscribers. Can you believe that? But I don't want to ramble that thank you and appreciation is going to come on another vlog but mindset number one things that i do every year is come up with a word that resonates with me that helps me to grow that i use as a reminder whenever i feel these little setbacks or really whenever i have little trials and tribulations and my word for 2023 has been evolve and why not pick evolving because evolving is like a gradual process it's something that happens gradually it's not a, a hit a one hit wonder it's not an overnight success it is a gradual process because when you want to involve you're becoming something that's very very complex something that's really really refined it's not just a something that's put together real quick because anything that's put together real quick is not going to last Evolving is a gradual process that I'm taking in my life and that I know it takes me, it's it's changes that I'm making, small changes that others may not see, others may not understand, and others may not appreciate, but it's for me. It's small changes that I'm making to be the best person that I can be, the best person that God wants me to be, to walk in my purpose, the best mom, friend, sister, daughter, like who Christian that I want to be. So my word for 2023 has been to evolve. And so how am I evolving? What are some things that I'm going to do to evolve and to become the better person that I want to be? Number one is start your day early. Start your day early and wake up early. I'm looking at my notes if I'm looking down. Start your day early and wake up early. I let's just say, for example, on an average work day, my alarm goes off at my alarm. I have to be at work by seven. Right. So I make sure that I wake up 30 minutes before I wake up my kids. I wake up 30 minutes extra before I wake up my kids. I literally I'm awake between five and five thirty a.m. every morning. And am I jumping up and moving? No, I'm literally in my bed with I'm checking my emails. I'm doing my Bible plan. I need to journal. I need to just have a mental space. I need to pray. I give myself that 30 minute window before I even invest the time into my kids to make sure that I 
Constance, Nigel, Chloe is okay and I'm ready. So that's how I start off my day. So to get your mindset right, give yourself time in your day. Some people like to do it at the end when the kids are sleeping. I start my day off right. If it's work, waking up the extra 30 minutes just to get a workout in, except to journal, to get your outfits, whatever you need to do to get that self-care mindset in for you to start your day, do it early. That's rule number one. I'm going to put two and three together. Two and three are start journaling or read every day. You want to find a way for your mind to mentally grow. Either that's by reading or to mentally release whatever burdens and stress by journaling. This is all about your mind. So these are things you can probably do when you give yourself that early day start. Find a book you want to read, whether it's a self-motivating book, whether it's your Bible, whether it's something that's going to pour into you that gives you excitement, that gives you joy. Read that or journal. I love my journal is more like my letters to God because um, I'm not really the oh Jesus, Jesus. I'm not that type of prayer person. I my prayer is more of like my walks with God. I walk and I talk. Or I write my letters to God, like, dear God, da 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 So two and three kind of go together, but you can incorporate those in your early morning, whenever you have your time. But start off the mental mindset of feeding your mind with something like a book or releasing your mind of burdens and stress like journaling. So that's two and three. Number four. Number four. You need to eat healthy. I'm not telling you to go on a diet. Eating healthy does not mean a diet. But what I want you to start taking is be considerate of what you put in your body when you put it in your body. Because what you put into your body physically, whether you believe it or not, affects you emotionally and affects you spiritually. I don't know about you. So let me know if that makes sense. What you put in your body physically breaks down and affects what you put in your what affects you emotionally and spiritually. Um, they all are twined. Like you have some people that talk about their emotional eaters. You're feeling something, so what are you want to eat? And what does that do? That eating, sometimes for women, for example, some women, I don't know, I can only talk for myself. Like my time of the month, I cannot eat sweet things. Even though my body craves it at that moment. Like my body will crave a cookie, a cake, a pastry, but all I know is just me feeding into that and it's going to mess me up because I start feeling like, what happens when you eat all the sugars and gunk and fried food? You start feeling sluggish and you start, it starts affecting you mentally. You're like, oh my God, when you start feeling sluggish, you don't want to do anything. You start gaining weight then you start feeling bad about yourself and you get yourself into a mental state. Like it's all a cycle. So be mindful of what you eat. Try to eat healthier things not saying you can't have a little chip cookie here and there ice cream pie pecan pie whatever you want it is but just be mindful of all those things that you put in your body it's okay to have little cheat days but every come on girlfriend every day ain't a cheat day come on let's just be real with ourselves every day ain't a cheat day every day ain't time to pop up have a bottle of wine and finish it by yourself or a pint of ice cream even though it feels it tastes good it feels good at that time but the effects afterward baby it ain't worth it. So. <laughs> but number five involves you investing. And when you think about the word investment, most people automatically think about financially. The financial aspect is great. But I'm talking about learning how to invest, not just financially, but invest into yourself and invest into others. And you can invest into others by being a mentor. You can invest into yourself by being a mentee. I always say that people should have two categories of people in their life. People that are where they want to be or their vision of goal of this is my success of where I want to be, whether it's mentally, physically, or spiritually, financially. And then the people who who are underneath them, and not saying underneath that they're below them, but people who they can mentor into. Because once you learn, and you're in the middle, so once you learn what you can to get to where those people you want to be are at, 
you can now you now have the tools and the skills to pour it back into the people underneath you um i love talking to like my younger cousins or younger girls who are probably in the because i know um i had some women that i i looked up to when i was in my 20s in that in that stage of where i was trying to figure out where i want to be where i want to go and i love talking to them and giving them my experience i am hoping that i can help them um especially coming from a culture where people really don't talk about certain things and i i want that openness especially with, with me being a girl mom um, I want to know that my kids can come to me and talk to me or my or um, some of these young girls, they may not be able to go to talk to their parents. They can come and talk to, hey, Nigel, Chloe, I want to ask you about something. And that's one of the reasons why I even have this platform as a way of me giving back to people, sharing my experiences and helping them the best way. And I'm learning as I'm sitting, listen, as I'm saying these things to you guys. Doesn't mean I'm doing this every day because I'm human. I'm going to have setbacks. I'm going to have job backs. But it's good to have a vision of where I want to do or where I want to go or where I want my mindset to be. And that's what this is all about. So invest. Learn to invest. Financial investment is great because we all want money. We all want finances. But you want to leave a lasting remark by investing into others. And like I said, also you want to invest into yourself. You can invest into all these Fortune 500 or Fortune 500 companies. That's great, but how, what are you getting for yourself in return? How are you investing in yourself? Like I said, I talked about it in one of my my Q and A video. How I want to build generational wealth. How am I building generational wealth? Is by investing in myself now, opening little uh, um, businesses, trying to build my brand for myself. So that way, not only after I leave this world. After Constance Yamu is gone and buried, that the children that I have and the grandchildren that follow and my nieces and nephews, somebody's going to benefit from me investing in them. And um, this was on my heart when I was coming up with this vlog and thinking about it. One of the things that I want to do by the grace of God next year is do a scholarship, like a 500, something simple. Like I, my goal was to raise $500 by next uh, the end of the school year um end of may 2024 and be able to give it to a college student a needy college student whether to um a, with a, a child a student going to college with a parent who's a single mom and needs to raise them and then every year i want to sponsor a kid with 500 dollars to start school whether it's to get books whether it's like whatever this is my gift the way i want to invest into others because i'm an educator so education to me is very very important so that's one of the things i'm going to start next year the night to chloe give back foundation i'm going to give back to and invest into others by awarding a child of a single parent an opportunity to have something to start their first years of college with or their first years of education with. So that's how I want to plan it. So I'm putting it out there in the atmosphere and I know God's going to bless people to, to who are interested in wanting to join this and do this with me because $500 is my base. But if I get a thousand, a thousand, I can do two, 1500, I can do three. So, um, but yes, I'm going to talk about that more probably towards the end of the year of my goals and my plans toward that. But that's my way of visioning of how I want to get back to sit down for this. But I feel like I'm doing like a news reporting. Hi, I'm Nigel Chloe with Mindset Mid-Year News. <laughs> Mid-Year Mindset News. Um, but yeah, so I'm back with my number six. There's two more to go, yes. Um, number six, set goals. Set goals for yourself. Set goals that are smaller and greater personal and professional set goals for yourself like um weekly goals daily goals weekly goals daily goals will help with your weekly weekly will turn to monthly monthly will turn to yearly and yearly will turn to decades and you'll just kind of build and build and build from there but setting goals if you don't know where you're going how do you know where to start if you don't know where you want to go how do you know where to start from so if your goal, for example, is to join a weightlifting competition by next year, you need to know where you, that's where your end goal is, right? And so you need to start from somewhere. 
You need to start working out now, watching what you eat now, start training now to get to that final goal. Start goals, but I also say realistic goals. Be realistic, like a funny thing, like I had a picture, and I'm going to show you. I had a picture of how I wanted my body to be. <laughs> Oh, how would I want my body to be by like end of this year? That's not realistic. Cause y'all know my condition. But this is where I want my body to be, or even within a year. But even for me, within a year, I'm like, I don't feel like it's even realistic because it takes a lot of training. But I'm gonna show you right here. <laughs> this is what I wanted my body to be like, or who in my mind said I wanted to to train to be like. But I have these. Oh no, I don't want to do setups. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do... That's not me being realistic. If I want to achieve this body, I have to be able to not put myself, restrict myself in a box of I'm not or I can't. Oh Jesus, I'm showing y'all skin and flesh. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry people. Sorry. Sorry. Um, put myself in restrictions or into a box. So just making it you have smaller and greater goals, both personally and financially, and also make sure they're just realistic. That's just it. I really wanted to zoom in close on this one because this is something I feel like the whole world could benefit from right now. And that is judge less, be kind, and love more. Judge less, be kind, and love more. Like, I want to make sure I'm looking when we're saying this. We are going to, I, so say your name, I, Nigel Chloe, I'm going to judge less, be kind, and love more. The world, we could use that right now. We could use a lot of less judgment because we have no idea what goes on in anybody's life. We have no idea how to walk in anyone's shoes. We could all be kind, not only to others, but to ourselves. Be kind to yourself. This mid-year mindset, MM, my mid-year mindset, MMM, begins with me. That's your fourth M. My mid-year mindset begins with me. It begins with you. So ask yourself, are you judging yourself less? Are you being kind to yourself? And are you loving yourself more? That all goes together. It has to start with you. Don't be so hard on yourself. Give yourself some credit for where you are right now. Because you weren't there in the beginning of the year. You weren't the same place last year. Look at what. Look more at what you gained than more of what you've lost. And we have to try not to judge. It's not easy because I'm judged. We, we all, we're all guilty of it. Let's not say we're all just perfect on here. We're all sinners. We are all, we have to just try not to be so judgmental or quick to judge or jump to conclusions about certain things or certain situations or certain people's lifestyle. It's not our place. There's only one man in this whole world that can judge. There's only one person and it ain't Judge Judy that can judge anybody despite what happens in the court system despite going in front of a jury. The final judgment goes to Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That's the only judge and juror in God, you know. So that is our number seven. Just judge less, be kind, and love more. Last one. Well, the last one. Uh -oh. do, 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 do. All right, last but not least, number eight. Numero ocho. I'm going to do what I'm saying since I tweet. Numero, I said numero ocho. Number eight. Lastly, but not the least, of the mid-year mindset that I want to talk to you guys about is to round all of this all together. This is like the golden rule of the mid-year mindset. mindset. It just brings everything all together and it says love yourself every day choose yourself always don't be selfish and be don't be self-centered love yourself every day choose yourself always 
don't be self but don't be selfish and don't be self-centered you can love yourself every day and you can choose yourself every day without having to be considered selfish and self-centered it is very very possible and what do i mean by loving yourself <sighs> loving yourself is to thy own self be true be true to who you are god made you for a reason the way you are and he does not make any mistakes so loving your smile loving your belly <laughs> Loving that one crooked toe, loving your gap, whatever, loving your complexion, loving you for loving your height, whether you're tall or you're short, just loving yourself every day. Put giving that self time for yourself every day to something, investing in yourself every day. Like, feel like all of this all goes down to start. As I said, it's you, your mid year mindset goes all lead to helping to love you yourself better. So at this moment, I want you to take your hand, your right hand, and put it over your heart. You're not saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm not going to sway you into America. <laughs> put your hand over your heart and just say this last part with me. I'm going to love myself every day. I'm going to choose myself every day. Give that promise to yourself. Go over these mid-year mindsets and ask yourself, which one am I lacking in? Which one am I not doing? Which one can I improve myself better in? And I guarantee you it's going to come together at the end. But they say, all things are working for my good. Uh, and it's in a, uh, and, and, and. I don't know the word. I never know the words of the song, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. All things are going to work together for your good for the rest of 2023. So you guys, that is it for my media mindset um, with Nigel Chloe. And I hope these things are able to help you and you're able to relate to them because your girls aren't to sweat and my makeup is sweating up too. Uh, so number one, we're going to reboot it all. We want it back up just so we can remember. Number one, start your day early. Number two, journal or read every day. That's two and three. Number four, eat healthy. Be mindful of what you put into your body. Number five, learn how to invest in yourself, not just financially, but invest in yourself personally and professionally. Number six, set goals smaller and bigger, smaller and greater, I mean. Number seven, judge less, be kind, and love yourself more. And lastly, number eight, to round all this up, love yourself every day. Choose yourself always. So while you're choosing me and you're investing in me, please make sure you like this video right now and put a thumbs up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but comment below. Let me know which one resonates with you. Which one of these do you, which one is your strongest? Which one's your weakest? Be truthful and honest because we always Oh, but y'all, I got to run this up. Your girl's sweating too much. So I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. I'll see you next time. Toodles.